Our journey starts with hormones that look for an appropriate cell for themselves. approach the cell, they first look for a door that will let them in. The doors of the cell are selective in the way they operate. Every molecule stopping by a door is checked by the door to see whether it is beneficial to the cell or not. The doors open only for useful molecules. If a harmful material, such as a virus, tries to enter a cell's door, the situation changes. The cell door analyzes the material, finds out that it is harmful, and rejects it. When we enter the cell, we discover as Professor Denton describes, a stunning technology and complexity. step in the door, they are immediately taken under control by special proteins that carry out the functions of the cell. These proteins are called enzymes. If required, enzymes immediately put the newly arrived hormones to use. If there is no need for these hormones at that moment, they are placed in the storage compartment of the cell, which is called the Golgi apparatus. Some molecules, such as the insulin that carries sugar molecules, are too big to pass through the doors of a cell. The cell has a specially designed system for such big but useful molecules. The cell extends a special appendage outside its membrane to admit the insulin. The insulin outside is pulled in by this appendage. Of course, there's no need to say that a strict security check is not forgotten.
Once inside, special carrier enzymes carefully collect the sugar molecules on the insulin. Enzymes convey the sugar molecules they receive from insulin to the mitochondria, which makes up the cell's power generating plant. The duty of mitochondria is to break down the energy containing molecules it receives and process them so that they can be used by the cell. Produced as a result of very complicated reactions in the mitochondria, the ATP energy packs are transferred to the related compartments of the cell through, again, a perfect mechanism. Special channels, called endoplasmic reticulum, handle the transportation in the cell. The nucleus which resembles a gigantic information processing center, is the brain of the complex system of the cell. Inside the cells are chromosomes, each of which is a huge data bank. Chromosomes consist of intertwined DNA chains. The detailed plans of all the systems in the cell are coded in these DNA chains. A DNA chain is like a spiral helix composed of the sequential arrangements of four different molecules. These four different molecules are actually an alphabet of four letters. Thanks to this alphabet, an enormous amount of information that would fill hundreds of volumes of an encyclopedia is coded in the DNA molecule. This coding system includes the detailed production plans of the thousands of different enzymes and proteins used in the cell. The projects of all organic molecules that will be structured in the cell are written in the DNA down to their smallest details. The production of an organic molecule, such as a protein, starts with the identification of the gene containing the required information among the DNA found in the chromosomes. Mm -hmm. 